ACU taking on Tarleton State in Stephenville at Memorial Stadium. Aston Whiteside getting his team pumped up for the start of the 2011 season. Whiteside is a preseason LSE Defensive Player of the Year and an All-American. Played a huge role in this game. QB Mitchell Gale and the Cats started 2011 the way they left off 2010. Gale was effective and efficient on his first drive as he found tight end Ben Gibbs to get inside the five and then on a bootleg on third down finds fullback Daniel Talavera. His first play as a Wildcat goes for a touchdown. TSU quarterback Nick Stevens quickly silenced those that said this might be a blowout like last year as he finds wide receiver Lance Clark there inside the five. That set up a touchdown carry for Brandon Lowry, his first of three on the night. Now a special teams unit let ACU down throughout the game as Lowry almost breaks away for a touchdown before being tripped up. Wasn't too much later though that Stevens struck again, this time with a screen pass to Lowry to give the Texans a 14-10 first half lead. Now, like I said before, the special teams was not a high point for Chris Thompson's bunch as Stephen Covey attempts a 55-yard field goal into the wind. Didn't even get to the end zone, though, as Tad Hill will return this one back into ACU territory, breaking a few tackles, dancing a jig down there to the ACU 35-yard line. Clock winding down now in the first half, and the Texans trying to add to their lead, but Stephen throws it right into the waiting arms of ACU lineman Derek Drummond. That preserved a four-point deficit for the Cats going into the locker room. Disappointing start to the season, though, as they're down 14 to 10. Second half now, and finally the Wildcat offense shows some flash as Gale hits Sharkandrick West on a bubble screen. West makes a move, sprints 41 yards to Pater, almost back to Abilene as he runs out the back of the end zone. ACU takes a 14-17 lead. Tarleton was quick to answer, though, as they took it right back down the field. Lowry plunges ahead into the end zone, giving the Texans back a 21-17 advantage. Now, this was not Mitchell Gale's best night, as he got picked off twice, here by Deshaun Phillips stopping a promising ACU drive inside Tarleton territory. After the two sides trade field goals, Gale finally finds his rhythm. With about two minutes to go, he hits receiver Darian Hogg for a 37-yard gain. A couple of plays later, He's going to find Taylor Gabriel for another 16 yards into tar Tarleton territory. Gabriel with a nice diving catch. Okay, third down now. Gale is scrambling around trying to find a receiver and just shovels it off to running back Daryl Richardson. Richardson does the rest as he makes a move and goes into the end zone for the go-ahead touchdown. ACU takes a 27-24 lead. Richardson did not get a lot of playing time as he was playing with a strained hamstring but no score more important than that one to go ahead. Now, for those of you that thought it was over, you were wrong. More to this thrilling finish, eight seconds left. Tarleton has a chance to go ahead, but Nick Stevens throws it into the waiting arms of Nate Bailey, who goes down at the two yard line. It doesn't matter, ball game's over. The players are excited. Coach T is excited as he jumps into the arms of Bailey. Wildcats win 27-24, go to 1-0 in the year, 1-0 in the Lone Star Conference.